Dear Live Journal, mood, tired. I can't seem to find the energy to do anything at all lately. The same routine every day is slowly killing me. I wake up, I go to school, and I get home just in time to go to bed. <laughs> bed, if that's what you want to call it. I haven't truly had a good night's sleep since high school. I just feel so uninspired apathetic to whether I draw another breath. I don't know if I can face another day. Any promise a new day holds is usually crushed by the time I walk out the door. And if it isn't by then, it's surely gone by the time I reach class. Can drama get worse than high school? The answer is yes, if you're in the art program. Everyone walks into class like the world owes them something for being the world's greatest unknown artist. All they care about is their status. Their actual work takes a backseat to their egos. I just wish I had more time to complete my own projects. Even if I did have free time, I'd probably have to spend it working. Student discount my ass. Do you know how much it costs to process film? Well, it's not like I have anywhere special to be or friends to hang out with. At least I have my lousy job at Starbucks endlessly pouring coffee for these snooty businessmen. They walk in on their cell phones all uptight, frantically barking orders to whoever's on the other end, just to make sure they let everyone else know how much they suffer. But no one suffers like an artist. No one suffers like me. I've always liked animation. Maybe it's the laborious process that makes me feel like I'm doing hard work. Or maybe it's the inescapable paradox of static versus mobile. Attempting to create life from something which has none. I suppose in that respect, animation parallels my own life. An artist is a performer first and foremost. In order to live as an artist, one must constantly be in the now always open and available to influence and be influenced. Every artist's waking moment should be spent in anticipation of when art might happen. I've always taken a more physical approach to film and video. Why limit oneself to conventions when film itself can be a medium to explore? Film can be trampled, poked, bleached, etched, painted, and influenced in as many ways as us. The audacity to attempt these methods is a bold set in defiance of all normalcy. Richard Tuttle? The artist artist? Here? I can't wait!
Hello, sir. Hi. Oh, you're from UIC, aren't you? Uh, yeah. The waiting room is down the hall and to the left. Thanks. Good to see you, gentlemen. It's been a while. Who are you? My name is Terrence. But friends call me Terry. I'm sorry about tricking you all into coming here. It was the only way I could think of reaching you safely. What are you talking about? You mean this isn't a gallery opening? Richard Tuttle isn't here? This is bullshit. Please, a few moments of your time is all I require. I know this is unorthodox and possibly frightening, but I assure you I'm not here to harm you. On the contrary, I'm here to protect you. Protect us? From what? Not from what. But from who? Have any of you ever felt like there's something missing in your life? Something central to your being, but yet you can't seem to place it? Do you ever feel restless, afraid, or lonely even? Well, everyone does once in a while, don't they? I mean, it's only human. But how do you deal with those heavy emotions? I guess those emotions help us create the work we make. We're video artists? That is what you are. But did you ever question what you were? What do you mean? I know as well as you that your emotions are far too intense to be brought about by the normal drudgeries of college life, even for the dramatic existence of an art student. But you're all lacking something which should be dear to you. Friendship. Before the procedure, the three of you were friends, and you were happy. Procedure? Tell me, do you know what a viral video is? Well, it's usually some catchy but stupid video that gets spread around the internet. Yes, in a manner of speaking. But did you know there's an entire organization dedicated to the eradication of viral videos? Who would put all of their time and effort into suppressing each and every inane video spawned from the internet? Inane? I would choose the word radical. Radical ideas, concepts, Behavior. Desegregation was a radical idea. Feminism was a radical idea. Scientology was a radical idea. This is why the Council of Elders fears and attempts to contain the spread of viral videos. Oh, please. Council of Elders? A widespread but extremely secret faction who strongly oppose the philosophy that any fool can operate a video camera and through the power of the internet thrust their idiocy into the world. I don't believe any of this. How are you even involved? Because I used to be in their employment. What does this have to do with us? We make video art, that garbage. Now you do. But that's because you've been re-educated. Before, the three of you were notorious cohorts who dabbled in the ridiculous, the insane, the downright stupid. And why is it we don't remember any of this? The Council of Elders had been watching you three for a time. But it was only until you reached UIC that you had to be dealt with. Early on, the Elders established a base of operations in every major college campus, the prime breeding grounds of viral videos. You three were tagged from the moment you filled out your application forms. Sometime during your orientation, you were kidnapped, drugged, and brought to a hidden facility here at UIC. Using their technology, they took your previous memories and replaced them with new ones, fooling your brains into thinking as video artists and injecting you with all manner of negative, isolating emotions to ensure you would never be a threat to the populace. You weren't the first, and nor will you be the last, until they are stopped. <laughs> this is ridiculous! I'm leaving.
I anticipated as much. But I believe you will be back before too long. Otherwise, I may be required to expedite your cooperation. Stay away from us, weirdo. Ooh, that hurts. Coming from an artist. Are you uh, showing some today? Yeah. Hey, that uh, that guy hasn't tried to talk to you again, has he? No, he hasn't. You? No. I'm just really confused. Same here. Well, I guess we should get to class. Thanks. Sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. 